bugle weed. Yeah. Very, uh, yeah, don't get it confused with the pachysandra that's growing up uh, and amongst it. So obviously this one is a little bit, um, it doesn't like our cooler uh, winters quite as well and it, interestingly enough it uh, doesn't always like our Andrew, what's the new warm summers. A juga? Sorry, yeah, bugle weed. So, and a, but a lot of it's probably because it's not quite as a, uh, quite as hardy during the summer that it doesn't handle our winters as well. Because this one will grow into zones five and four as well. All right, so it's it it it's relatively cold hardy uh, typically. Again, rosettes. All right, so it grows in these really tightly compressed uh, internodes, uh, these rosettes of foliage, and uh, Dr. Arnold always says, and it's actually a really good description, I think, that it looks it always looks sort of wet. Okay. So it's so glossy, it always has that sort of uh, almost like an oily appearance to it. Okay, uh, the species type is typically a green, but the cultivars have been that are uh, released into the nursery industry have been selected for this sort of purplish reddish cast to the foliage. Okay, it always has, uh, especially when the foliage is just beginning beginning to sort of come out. It always looks to me uh, like little heads of lettuce, almost. Yeah, or cabbage. Okay, and then we see um, blue flowers that occur, and they're actually relatively uh, interesting. Sort of a uh, uh, corum or panicle of blue flowers that occur, and uh, <coughs> typically be held maybe uh, six inches up off the ground. This thing will grow to be somewhere between two and six inches tall. All right, so it's truly a really nice ground cover if you can get it to be thick. Uh, it started out down here and it sort of spread its way over here. And as as uh, it has spread, it has become less uh, hardy or less uh, vigorous where it was originally planted, and more vigorous up here in the middle of the bed. Okay, so. Is it always going to be like that, like satellite out? Um. Well, yeah, but again, this is. So we're in College Station with interesting soil and interesting water, and that's one of our issues. Okay. But uh, how does it grow over in East Texas? East Texas, it would be a, a much thicker, uh, much better mat than this particular one over here. So you don't need to worry about the original planting dying out. No, not it. so much. It just it just happened to take place here, it's, and it's, you can tell it's not died out. It's just not as vigorous. Okay. okay. All right, so nice sort of glossy, wet-like foliage uh, that occurs in those little cabbage-like rosettes. Okay, like I said, can occur uh, a good fur piece north. Yeah, I've had it in Wisconsin, Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we good?